So birds are looking for three things, food, shelter and water. And if you can provide those three things in your garden, then the birds will come. And feeding the birds is not only a great way of attracting them into your garden, but also allows you to watch them from the comfort of your own home. Watch the different species and their comings and going. It's important to provide different food types for the different species. Some like peanuts, others the seed mixes with sunflower and niger seed. And also as well, you can use some scraps and some food from the kitchen, like porridge oats, also apples, really good food source. And species like blackbird, black cap, love apples. Some important tips to remember when you're feeding the birds. Firstly, you can place the feeders close to where you can see them, so the back window or the front window, and that means you can keep an eye on the different species coming and going, but also you'll be able to tell when the feeders run empty and you need to go and fill them up. And as well, it's really important to keep a consistent food source, so to feed the, feed the birds regularly. And that's because once they start to rely on, foods, on this food source, it's important to keep it up. As well, Good to position the feeders and the food close to where there's some cover, trees and hedgerows, so that the birds have some cover close by that they can come and go from the feeders. And as well to make sure that you keep the feeders away from cats and from other potential predators. And really important as well, it's good to move around the feeders from time to time so that they're not in the same position for a long period of time, which means that droppings can build up on the ground underneath the feeders and obviously some food will be knocked down and birds will be feeding on the ground and if they're coming into contact with the droppings that can spread disease between birds. So as well as feeding the birds in your garden like this you can also provide them with a natural food source and that's by having native berry producing species in your garden the likes of holly, hawthorn, rowan and ivy and they produce berries in autumn and winter when a food source for birds is vital. So if you have suitable trees, hedgerows and shrubs in your garden, that's already going to provide shelter and suitable nesting sites for a range of birds. But you can also give them a, a little bit of an extra helping hand by providing nest boxes and suitable sites. And these are examples of some of the ne nest boxes that you can put up. And it's important to be familiar with the type of nest box and the, and the species that it's targeted for and know where best to site them. And also to be very careful to keep them away from disturbance and from potential predators like cats. So this nest box is for one of our commonest nesting garden birds and that's the robin and other open nesting species will use this. This is for house martin and they'll build their mud nest on this platform on this base. And then many of our species are cavity or hole nesting and this is replicating that and this is a perfect nest box for blue tit. And, and this small apartment block multi-layered is for house sparrow and they actually nest communally so the three of these can be occupied at the same time for house sparrow. So when it comes to gardening for biodiversity one of the most important things to remember is to work with nature and not against it and just let nature do its thing and it will ha happily do so and that may need a little bit of changing of mindsets and a move away from gardens that are prim and proper and tidy and manicured to more wild and wonderful. And we should judge a garden less so by how tidy it is and more so by the diversity of wildlife it supports.